The Tertiary Education Trust Fund is set to host a five-day research exhibition in Abuja aimed at showcasing the nation's largest innovations and groundbreaking research. Minister of Education Professor Tahir Maman disclosed this at the news conference in Abuja. The minister said the fair is expected to showcase the nation's largest innovations and groundbreaking research. Our research is going on elsewhere can be brought up to the table and uh, for people to come in and, and take it further. So we want to thank the TED Fund. This is uh, a step definitely in the right direction for us to have this tripartite uh, structure and progress for us to, uh, you know, for once contribute in practical terms to uh, the rest of the world in terms of uh, making, giving practical effect to our researches. Professor Maman further said why consultations are ongoing with institutions and organizations that will partner in supported fund in the research exhibition. Who have the resources and the interest and the capability to convert them into products that will be used to Nigerians that can also uplift the individual because, you know, what we see out there in terms of IT and even the medicine we are all using, they are all byproducts of researches in one lab or the other, elsewhere. And I tell you, so much is going on in the universities and research institutes. Earlier, the Executive Secretary of TEDFO, Aikite Suni Echono, in his remarks highlighted some of the expected benefits from the exhibition. It is open to all Nigerians. It is not limited to our beneficiary institutions. So research institutes, private uh, inventors and creators, if you know you have done anything and you have value that will lead to the creation of jobs, that will lead to the development of products and services that will improve the lives of our people. Oh, the exhibition fair scheduled for the 17th of November 2024 at the Eagle Square, Abuja, will bring together researchers, inventors, and creators to share their cutting edge projects and visionary ideas. CNN News.